Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a glute and booty workout. So let's get right into the video. Don't forget, you do have to do each exercise for a set of 15 if you're looking for endurance. And if you want to work on strength, try to do four sets of 8 to 12. Or if you want to do your power, which means your max, which means you can only do either one set to three sets for one rep. It really depends what you go and what you're looking for. But you can definitely work on this program to grow your glutes as long as you are progressively adding weight or progressively adding reps or even sets. So let's get right into this workout. Warming up before any glute workout is essential to prepare your muscles as well as increase blood flow and reduce the risk of injuries. We're starting off with good mornings. I chose good morning to be the first warm up because I wanted a compound exercise to target the muscles in my lower back. For example, my hamstrings and my glutes. Then I did leg swings because I wanted a dynamic stretch that could help me improve with my flexibility as well as my range of motion. Then I did my squat calf raises, which is another compound exercise that combines the element of squat with the calf braces if you are a person who has pain or tension around their knee i would advise you to do the lunge forward i feel such a relief after i do this warm-up you could also turn this into a workout and just add dumbbells and your final warm-up is the band dislocated make sure that you're holding the resistant band with both hands and you're gripping it slightly wider than shoulder width apart now it's time for your workout and of course i started off with deadlift I will always start with deadlift or squat. The reason why I love deadlift is because it's a compound weightlifting exercise that engages multiple muscle groups. This will be your hamstring, your glutes, even your lower back, and your core if you make sure that your core is engaged. Make sure that you're bending at your hips and knees to lower your body. Make sure that you're gripping the bar, but not too tight. The barbell should be close to your shin and your toes should be pointing slightly upward. Make sure that you're resting enough for your body to recover and get ready for the next set. I rested for 60 to 90 seconds because I'm working on my endurance training. The next exercise is the single leg deadlift, which is a unilateral exercise that targets your hamstring, glutes, and your lower back as well as your core. I really would recommend gradually increasing the range of motion and complexity as you become more comfortable with this exercise. You're moving on to leg bridge on your tippy toe. I'm adding an extra challenge to the exercise by engaging your calf and focusing on your more posterior chain, including your hamstring and glutes. Lay on your back on a mat with your knees bent and your feet hip width apart. Come up into your tippy toe so that you are balancing on the both of your feet. Press through your heels and lift your hips towards the ceiling. We're moving on to lateral leg raises. I want to target the muscles in your hip abductors as well as your gluteus medius. I want you to focus on using the muscles on the side of your hip to lift your leg. I want When you're lowering your leg back down, make sure that it's in control. I don't want you just swinging them around. We're moving on to donkey kicks. Adding a dumbbell to the movement can provide additional resistance, so making it a little bit more challenging. We are now focusing on slow squat i want you to choose a specific tempo i'm doing the 313 tempo this is making three seconds to lower down holding on the bottom for one second and taking three seconds to rise back up if you feel like this tempo is too slow find the right tempo for you we're gonna focus on your hips thighs and glutes by doing lateral lunges make sure that you take a step to the side with the right foot maintaining a straight posture Make sure that your chest is up and your shoulders are back. I really enjoy doing lateral lunges. I feel like they really target my lower body, so I try to add them to any program that I'm doing if it involves lower body. This workout is almost complete. This is your second move before the end of the workout, and we're doing narrow squat. I want your hands to be placed either on your hip or in front of you, and I want your feet position closer together than a regular squat our last move is kettlebell swing i love anything with kettlebell it works your entire body it's a dynamic and powerful exercise that engages multiple groups including your hamstring glutes and your core as well as your shoulders i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm super happy that you actually made it to the end i'm gonna see you tomorrow because i gotta go don't forget to comment share and subscribe and i'll see you manana bye